Now, uh, another part of the expansion, like I noticed uh, just recently at the top of the year, maybe even late last year, you, uh, you know, put out an, ex- uh, an extension, an extension of your brand, right? Like allowing the, uh, the, the clothing line, right? You did a nice launch with the clothing line and started really, uh, really making it a brand, right? Like that it's, it's something that people can be, can feel that they are a part of it. And I noticed that every good business at some point, it, it, it gives people a sense of belonging, right? So again, we see branding and business done right because they really go hand in hand. And I noticed from a business standpoint, while I'm sure it was lucrative, not a lot, but whatever the case may be, <laughs> it's, it's more so about that concept of, I don't have to make a, a dollar behind every single move that I make. Sometimes giving something to my people that makes them feel like they're a part of the family, uh, that can help me in the long run. Uh, and then I noticed there were other, you know, things that projects that you're a part of now that are also, you know, a give back type of project. Talk to us a little bit about that. Like at what level do you start saying, all right, I'm good. I'm good. My people are good. Now, what more can I do? And what did you do in that standpoint? Nah, indeed. Uh, so to answer the first part of the question, um, you know, good, good energy lifestyle. Um, again, I told you I where the good energy was birthed from. And, you know, in trucking, I, man, again, no filter, y'all. My drivers when I first started, um, were my biggest headaches. I had um, some of the, I don't want to say mean, but they were they were a little a little different, right? Mm-hmm. And I just remember being stressed out. And one of the main reasons I was stressed out was because my drivers and their attitudes at that time. So I changed the name of my company to Good Energy because I wanted to take my personal mindset and transfer it over to my business. Meaning that, yo, if your energy ain't right, I don't care how qualified you are. You can have your CDL for 30 years. If I interview you, if I go meet you and your energy ain't right, I'm, I pass. Mm. So I literally brought the good energy to my business. So what happened is the name is real. It's a lifestyle. Good energy, ain't it ain't tied to trucking. It ain't tied to Alex, that is literally a mindset and it's a lifestyle. So I, I realize that everybody ain't in a position to get a truck. I get so much love on, 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 on the gram, y'all. And, and I was like, you know what? I need I need to be able to share this good energy with, with, with the people who ain't in the market to buy a truck. I just want to give them something that they could put on and they could feel it as well. Because I feel like when you got on a shirt that say good energy, you you got you got it like damn near like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to really give it off. So I just wanted to just share that with the streets. So we created the uh, clothing line, um, yo, uh, October 11th, y'all. I decided I wanted to do it. I wanted to use the best uh, fabrics, the uh, material. is It's just the best quality hoodie that you could find. Because um, I'll, I'll, again, over-deliver. If I'm going to do it, let's do it right. So we dropped it, and um, we dropped it literally 30 days later on 11-11 at 11-11 a.m. And, um, boy, let's not get – it went crazy. It went crazy, man. So it's just been a blessing. So um, shout out to everybody that supported the Good Energy uh, merch uh, at Good Energy Lifestyle. And then um, I just got to a point, y'all, once I, man, once I was like really rolling, y'all, and, you know, everything was consistent. I was like, yo, I, I started losing motivation for just money. Uh, like that, that wasn't like, that didn't do anything for me anymore. Um, after a while, once I reached certain goals, I was like, yo, we got to be something a little deeper. Um, so I just, I, I always had a big heart. I always wanted to give back, but I, I never knew how I could. But then I looked up one day and I was like, yo, I was watching the news and I seen that uh, Flint, Michigan had a water crisis where th- there was lead poisoning in their water. And I'll never forget, I was watching the news that night and I, and I, and I, it, it hit me hard. And I'm like, man, how can we get how can we get some water to these people? Like, why is this like this? This ain't no third world country. Like, and then I realized the demographics that was out there. And I was like, yo, now nah, I'm going to go ahead and use my truck. And I want to send water with my trucks to Flint, Michigan. So we birthed the Filler Truck Foundation. I put my truck out there in Atlanta, made the announcement on Instagram. Hey, look, if anybody wants to donate water to Flint, Michigan, meet us at this address. The whole city came out, man. We had a line from the Kroger's all the way to the exit to uh, 75. 
uh, we ended up having to bring three trucks. It was only one 18 wheeler. We ended up filling three. We, we sent almost a million bottles of water to Flint, Michigan. Mm. We've done that about four times now, as well as uh, when Hurricane Harvey hit Houston, we sent uh, aid out to Houston as well to help them out with the hurricane. And if you ask me, what is your biggest accomplishment to date? A lot of people would think it's the success of the portal. A lot of people would think it's, uh, um, you know, just how big the brand has gotten, et cetera. My biggest accomplishment was being able to use my vessels to help to help um, these cities. Mm. 